What is bipolar depression? It is a name given to the depression experience in those who have bipolar disorder. Manic or hypermanic episodes are experienced within bipolar depression. Symptoms include worthlessness, suicidal thoughts, nervousness, and sleep deprivation. Drugs that are currently approved for bipolar depression treatment are quercetin, olanzapine, fluoxetine combination, and lorazepam. These treatment focuses on acute stabilization and relapse prevention in bipolar depression. Quercetin is the earliest drug approved for the treatment of bipolar depression. It works by restoring the balance of certain neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine in the brain. Bipolar depression is controlled by blocking on serotonin receptors in the frontal cortex and dopamine receptors in the mesolimbic pathway acting as antagonists. One of the potential antidepressant mechanisms exhibited is the competitive inhibition of norepinephrine reuptake. This contributes to the constant effectiveness of the drug. The main adverse effect of pressure is weight gain. There is a high level of insulin, triglycerides, and glycated hemoglobin noted in pressure treatment compared to other drugs. Pressure is associated with improvement in quality of sleep and life. Patients with a recent history of rapid cycling bipolar disorder are recommended to take this due to its fast and effective outcome. However, sedation problems can occur for some patients. Another drug for bipolar depression treatment is olanzapine fluoxetine combination. This combination treatment was approved by FDA, FDA in 2003 due to it being significantly more effect, efficacious than olanzapine monotherapy. Exact mechanism is unknown, but the activation of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine enhances antidepressant effect. Combination of serotonin selective receptor inhibitor like fluoxetine and antipsychotic effect by olanzapine produces synergic increases in norepinephrine and dopamine release in the prefrontal cortex. This improves concentration and mood. Major adverse effects of this combination treatment are severe allergic reaction. It should not be used for those who experience reaction to either olanzapine or fluoxetine. Olanzapine is correlated to increase in blood sugar level, thus diabetic patients need careful monitoring when taking this medication. This combination treatment has a high response and remission rate with lower discontinu discontinuation rates due to its first effects. On the other hand, like other SSRI, it increases risk of suicide in patients aged 24 years and under, as well as increased risk of death in elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis. The most recent new drug approved for bipolar depression by FDA in 2013 is lorazepam. Lorazepam acts as an antagonist for certain dopamine receptors to improve cognitive activities. Serotonin receptors improve negative symptoms and reduce in extrapyramidal side effects. Lorazepam displays little or no affinity for histamine and acetylcholine receptors, thus use less risk of sedation, weight gain, and metabolic effects leading to adequate efficacy and tolerability. Lorazepam's major adverse effect is decrease in white blood cells and increased blood sugar level, which can be fatal for patients. The major drawback of lorazepam is its food drug interaction. The drug is metabolized in the liver by the enzyme cytochrome P450. Plasma concentrations increases when combined with cytochrome P450 inhibitors, which, this, which leads to excessive side effects. However, lorazepam appears to have caused minimal effects on body weight and changes across metabolic parameters. It is not approved for patients under 18 due to increased depression and not from dementia patients as it increases death or stroke. Comparing the drugs previously mentioned, Quercetin is effective for patients with rapid cycling bipolar disorder history. However, there are concerns with sedation problems. Olanzapine and fluoxetine combination are not recommended to patients ages 24 and under and elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis. The resident's food drug interaction requires met metabolism monitoring. It is not recommended for those who are 18 or under 18 or with dementia. In contrast to other drugs, lorazepam does not cause significant changes to weight gain or metabolism. 
However, it is a newly approved drug and no clinical studies have been made so far.